welcome back to the channel on YouTube for a brand new episode of our MLB The Show 22 Philadelphia Phillies Franchise Mode. Taking on the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Taking a look at their team so far. Not much has changed. They're not really that different. They're kind of really trash still, actually. I mean... Overall wise, they're respectable, but name wise, you, you know, they got Mike Trout, Mike Clevenger, ooh, but like no, no big stars. That Rendon contract definitely still weighing them down a lot, but no one's here. No one's here to watch the Angels or Mike Trout. They're here to see Roki Sasaki. If you guys remember, back in uh, the first episode. The Phillies signed Roki Sasaki. He was a young 20-year-old pitcher, uh, but he was not allowed to leave his team at the time. So the Phillies GM and president, Dave Dombrowski, and Sam, I guess, sevenfold GM and Dave Dombrowski, the president, made a deal with his uh, NPB club that at the age of 23, he would be able to leave his team and come join the Phillies in the Major League. And now it's his age 23 season, and he has left the MPB and he's come to Philadelphia to play Major League Baseball. Picking up his first Major League strikeout right there. Now Anthony Rendon up batting 143 goes down for the second strikeout of the inning. Back to back punch outs for Sasaki. Now Jared Walsh up and Walsh pops this one up over the head of Reese Hoskins and Hoskins in shallow outfield. Ooh, he almost misplayed that one but makes the catch on the mound for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. It's Griffin Canning. Canning in 32 starts last year. Went 13-11. A respectable 374 ERA. 163 innings pitch. 151 hits allowed. A 125 whip. So Canning. Former top prospect. First batter up. Ground ball. Rendon. Fields it in time. Juan Soto retired. And up comes Alec Boom. Boom. Sends that one to right field. Opposite way. Caught by the right fielder. Four out. Number two. So two quick outs. Now up comes Bryce Harper batting an abysmal 154 on the season. That's going to be an infield pop-up. Harper, you see he's just killing right. He's winning all those consecutive MVPs. Does that to a guy. Now, Sasaki in his second inning of work picks up his third strikeout. Brandon Lau goes down looking. Willie Calhoun up and Calhoun down. 100 on that fastball right there for the young righty. Joe Adele up and Joe Adele down as Sasaki strikes out the side in order. And now up comes Reese Hoskins, who very late swing on that Griffin Canning fastball. Very late swing. Nick Maton getting the start this game. He's going to pop this one up. We'll have a fly out to very shallow left field for the second out of the inning. Two away now for Nick Castellanos. And Castellanos swing and a miss as the Phillies go down 1 2 3. Neither side getting on base yet is Albert Amora Jr. getting the start. Strikes out swinging. Six punch outs in two and a third. Catcher up and catcher down. Velasquez did not stand a chance. His knees even buckled. Thomas Nito up and Nito sends that one to right. Harper comes in and Harper misplays it. Can't get there in time. He heals it. Throw to second, just barely missing out on Nito getting the double. Almost threw him out, but couldn't quite get there. Fletcher up, and Fletcher striking out. So Mer uh, the Angels do get a hit. And up comes Mickey Moniak, who draws a walk. So either team now picking up their first base runner in the third inning. Logan Ohape getting the start, and Ohape draws a walk. Back-to-back -back walks issued by Canning as Bryson Stott. You know, hit some home runs in the postseason last year. Is due up. 1-2 count. Watch your strike three go by. So down goes Stott. Canning's third of the game. And up comes Soto, who draws ball four. Three walks in the inning. The bases are juiced. Canning's pitch count has definitely inflated this inning. As Alec Bohm just gets jammed on the slider. Infield fly roll called as the bases will remain juiced with two outs. Bryce Harper up and Harper, very frustrated, slams the bat down as that was just a meatball at 95. 
Rendon up 2-2 two -two and Rendon down swinging for the ninth punch out of the game. Jared Walsh up and Walsh picking up the base hit. That second hit issued by Sasaki. You know, Soto can't cut it off, so that's going to be a one-out double for the Angels' first baseman, his third on the season. Brandon Lau up, and Lau sends that one to right field. Harper, he's going to come in, settle behind it. Running start, no need to make the throw as uh, the runner on second stays at second. Following that, it's going to be a flare to right. That one down. Harper throwing, not in time. It's going to be an RBI single with two outs. Now Joe Adele up, and Adele gets a hold of this one. That one's deep to left, and that one is gone. A two-run shot for the former top Angels prospect, Joe Adele. It's a 3 nothing game now. Sasaki, who was cruising those first couple innings, just kind of fell apart here in this third. It's his first Major League start. Don't get too worried yet. Ground ball, May time, he knocks it down, throwing, not in time. Another runner gets on base. Following that, that's going to be a pop-up. Ohape makes the catch, and that's going to finally end the fourth. Reese Hoskins up in Hoskins. Watch a strike three goodbye. That's a bad call from the home plate umpire, gifting Canning a strikeout. Nick Maton, who's 0 for 1, swinging a miss on the low fastball. Well, I got some advice from Hoskins since he's calling low. Castellanos, he's swinging for the dirt. Slider gets him chasing. Now Sasaki back out here. Striking out Thomas Nito in the fifth inning. That's going to be Sasaki's tenth of the ball game. David Fletcher up in Fletcher. Swinging like a wild man up there. That's going to be 11 on the ball game for the Japanese Phenom. Rendon up and Rendon down. I'm pretty sure it's three strikeouts now for Anthony Rendon. As Sasaki strikes out the side in order. So, going on to the bottom of the fifth. Up comes Reed Detmers for the Los Angeles Angels in two games so far. He's 1-0. Six and two-thirds innings pitched. A four-strike, a two-walk ratio. Righties are batting 118. Lefties teeing off at 333. Mickey Moniak, the lefty, goes down looking. So that's the first strike out of the game for Reed Detmers. Logan Ohape up now, 3-2 count. Ground ball, that one sneaks through. That's going to be the first base hit of the game for Philadelphia. So Philly pick up their first base hit here in the fifth. As up comes Bryson Stott, who chases. Well, it's very badly jammed on the fastball inside. That's two outs now for Juan Soto, who watches ball four. Second walk of the game for Juan Soto. So he finds himself on first base now with two outs. Alec Bohm up and Bohm takes the outside fastball right field and he didn't even move. That ball went right to the right fielder. Jared Walsh up and Jared Walsh down on the splitter. That's going to be strikeout number 13 for Roki Sasaki. Brandon Lau up and Brandon Lau puts down on the ground. Nick Maton gloves it, fields it, and fires it. Or fields it, gloves it, fires it to first in time. Willie Calhoun up and Willie Calhoun down. So down goes Calhoun as the Angels go down 1, 2, 3 in order. Bryce Harper leads off the sixth. That's a screwball? I don't know what SCV is, but right down Broad Street. And that's a leadoff home run for the inning. His second on the season. Harper took that one 396 to left center, giving the Phillies their first run and second hit of the ballgame. Phillies offense definitely getting uh, shut down by this Angels pitching staff. The only thing we need right now is just a couple runs. This team lives and dies by the home run ball. So we're definitely looking for that home run ball to come into effect now. Reese Hoskins 0 for 2. Takes the slider. It's kind of on the inside half of the plate. That's going to send that one deep to left center. Missing a home run by about a good 20 feet. For the first out here in the sixth inning. So, one down now for Nick Maton. 2 2 count, and Maton watches strike three go by. That slider just went right past him. Didn't even backdoor him. Castellanos, 3 2, ground ball. That gets in the center field. That's a two out base knock after the Maton strikeout. 
So one on, two away now from Moniak. Moniak, swing and miss at the slider. So the Phillies get one. Cut the lead down to two. And Sasaki still out there, refusing to come out. David Bell trusting the young starter. Albert Almora up, and Almora goes down. That's going to be strikeout number 16 for Roki Sasaki. Sasaki now two outs here in the seventh. That's going to be 17 strikeouts for Roki Sasaki in his major league debut. Phillies still trail 3-1 to one as Jose Suarez comes in. His ERA is infinite. Logan Ohape up now, and Ohape... Cuts that infinite ERA, and it just, uh, how do you, how do you kill the infinite ERA, Ohape? How could you? Could trade you for Brandon Marsh now. Bryson Stott up with one out here in the inning, and Stott sends that one to center field. That one caught by Mike Trout. Well, that's not Mike Trout. Where's Mike Trout? Is Mike Trout in left field, Ben? I'm just used to Mike Trout playing center in this game. Bomb seventh, two out. Soto Chopper, and that's going to be... Out number three. So one, two, three go to Phillies as Suarez pitches a scoreless, hitless seventh inning. Sasaki inducing the pop up here. Foul territory caught by Hoskins. One away. And Sasaki cruising, even with a pitch count over 100. Check swing. He went. He went on the check swing with that. It's 18 punch outs for Roki Sasaki. Rendon up, and Rendon finally makes contact. Doesn't get the sombrero. He still has three punch outs as he ends the inning. Kirby Yates, former Brave, comes in in one game. He's got an inning in two thirds, a 5.40 ERA, one strikeout, one walk. So the Phillies looking to hopefully tie this game up as Alec Bohm takes the splitter that was left in the middle of the play, and that one goes deep left center field, almost to the concourse. As that's his first home run of the season. 439 is the distance right there. You'll love to see that home run ball. That is a big time shot for Alec Bohm. He's been a key part to this Phillies offense. And regaining that swing of his that he lost during his sophomore season. You see right there. High fives galore. Now Bryce Harper up and Harper ground ball. Gloved by Marsh. That's out number one. One out here in the inning as Kirby Yates takes on Reese Hoskins, and Hoskins sends that one to left field. That one caught by the left fielder. That's going to be Albert Amora Jr. in left. That's two away now as Nick Maton comes up, and Maton connects a moonshot. That one almost gets the second deck, just misses the scoreboard. That's going to be his first of the season. 391 from the backup third baseman. You'll love to see that right there. Nick Maton, what a play right there for the young fella. You'll love to see that one right there. As this game is now tied up. Like I said, this Phillies team lives and dies by the home run balls. In comes Ty Butchery. Didn't he retire? Who was, the, who was the Angels pitcher at a really good season and then retired like two years into his career? I think it was Ty Buttry. But I don't know. Here comes Nick Castellanos. Castellanos sends that one left center. That one almost caught by the center fielder, but it kind of hits off his forehead as Castellanos opts to go back to first. So in a four-headed uh, single right there. Mickey Moniak up and Moniak delivers. The outside middle fastball, and that's a moonshot to left. And the Phillies take a two-run lead on Moniak's second home run of the season. Mickey Moniak with the monster mash right there. You love to see that right there. A big shot for the center fielder. Not known for his power at all. It's a 5-3 Phillies lead now. With Ohape due up. So Buttry comes in and blows the game for the Angels. They were a couple outs away from having the lead in the ninth, but no, now they're down two. Ohape gets gifted ball four right there. That's going to be a two out walk. As up comes Bryson Stott. 
But Jaime Berea will come in to face Stott in one game. He's got an inning in two thirds, two strikeouts, no walks, ready to bang 250 against him. All right, Berea, you got this one. Stott, ground ball, glove by Rendon over to second in time ends the inning. So he comes in, gets the one out, and he goes to the shower. Jared Walsh up and Jared Walsh down as Sasaki looks to go for the complete game. He demanded he went out there. There was not taking no for an answer, says David Bell, as they're asking him, why is this young pitcher still out there at 130 innings, 134 pitches? 140 pitches, that's going to be ball four. That's the first walk issued by Sasaki in this game. After that, the manager goes, you cannot convince me to keep you out here any longer. David Bell says, let me get the ball, you're done. And Sasaki, to a standing ovation, Heads off to feeling disappointment, not because he blew the game, but because he didn't get the complete game. Josh Hader, in three games so far, is two, uh, two and two-thirds innings pitched. Four strikeouts, one walk, lefties are batting 333 against him. No save opportunities, though. But he's coming in for the one-out save this game. It should be easy enough with Joe Adele up, and it is. 98 on the fastball, as Sasaki has a marvelous... Major League debut, and if you're not looking at the Rookie of the Year, I don't know who is the Rookie of the Year. Who can be better than Roki Sasaki based off this pitching demonstration alone? Sasaki with the win, Butcher the loss, Hater with the save. You'll love to see that for Philadelphia. Sasaki, of course, player of the game. Five hits, 19 strikeouts, one walk, three earned runs. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button, comment down below, text on YouTube, though. Peace out, rock on, stay super classy, and have yourselves a great day. Later.